The next tool, the contour line tool, is right here. It's a, excuse me, the contour line paint tool. is It's a very uh, recent addition to the software, and I think it's really a good, great tool. It's similar to the gradient tool, but it is kind of a little different. It has a little more versatility, I think, but they're, they're, they're different tools in different ways. So let me just show you what I mean. Let's begin by putting down a black... Um, actually, I'm going to use a tool. I'm going to use my direct line and create a circle or an ellipse. That'll do. And then I'm going to draw on a different layer. I'm going to put behind the circle just some... Oops, I'm still on the circle. Escape. I'm going to go to the uh, pen and put some lines across. So just different colored lines. And maybe one more. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm going to use my new tool that I told you about, the Contour Line Paint tool. And on the first setting, Normal Paint, um, this option of Do Not Black we, we're going to have so that it'll actually stop when it gets to the black. But you can also, you don't need to even have this encased by a line if you don't want, but this, I'm just showing you that if you're working with inks and you want to kind of use that to constrain this effect, you can do it. So anyways, if I take this tool now and I'm going to click between two of these colors, so the first one, the red and the uh, yellow, I'm going to click, and what it's going to do, and this uses a lot of processing, so it may take a second, you can see it creates a gradient between those two lines. Now if I do the same thing down here, it'll make a gradient between the yellow and the green. And uh, you can see though that the the line is still kind of visible because at that point it, there's no gradient. It's just pure yellow or pure whatever the color is. So if you want to like avoid that, you want to make sure when you use your pen um, that you are using a small, small line. And I, I th let's try the smallest number and see if it'll work. I haven't tried it this small. And I'm just going to... Also, I forgot to mention this. Anti-aliasing, you want this as low as possible or off when you use your pen because otherwise it's going to get create these weird effects that um, you'll see. So if it is giving you this kind of similar to when we fill without expanding beyond the selection, it creates that, that thin line that we don't want. But anyways, uh, back to our tool. I was going to test it on this really thin line that I can't even see, but if I click here, Ah, interesting. So it seems to still make, even though it has, it was a really thin line, it still kind of created this, this weird artifact. So you may have to play around with these, this tool. It's not always perfect and just uh, try different settings to kind of eliminate that because sometimes it works great and sometimes it, it does give you these kind of bar artifacts that you probably don't want your picture. If you do it at the very end where there's no color beyond just white, it's going to become that solid color. So that is your uh, normal paint. The other option, let me undo these. The other options on here are the lightest shadow and the deepest shadow. And these look very similar to me and they basically they use uh, the two colors and they give dominance to one of them and it kind of extends and creates this kind of fake shadow around the bottom, as you can see. So this isn't a clean gradient. It's definitely given more weight to the yellow. And now if I were to undo this and do this with the deepest shadow, you would think that it would give more weight to the red, but I don't think that's the case. It seems to always give weight to the lighter color. So yeah, and so it's a slightly different effect. And I'm not exactly clear how it, how that works. <laughs> and it, I'm not, I don't use this one as often as the first one, so you're welcome to toy with it. I don't really have a purpose for it at this time, but uh, they are pretty nice effects, and uh, yeah, check them out in your art.